since it was our last night in Cape May and one of the last weekends of the summer, we knew we wanted to go down and explore the historic district of Cape May, which is full of these very intricate Victorian houses and you will often see a horse-drawn carriage coming down the street. So downtown Cape May is quite the experience. <laughs> Oh, red. <laughs> Big dukes. We knew it was going to be pretty hectic and crowded going downtown, but that's just one of those things you have to accept. We had to drive around for quite a while to find parking. It is super busy, crazy down here. Saturday night is one of the last Saturdays of the summer. It's definitely the high season. And we finally found parking where you have to pay at a meter, and I think it's 25 cents for 10 minutes. So we scrounged up all the quarters we could find. How much time we got? Uh, I put quarters in there, but now I'm just trying to select. Uh... Oh, is it an app? Yeah. Oh. You still have to do the app even when you put quarters in? No, I just put quarters in, but we got um, like an hour and 10 minutes. If you have to add it? Yeah. Okay. The middle of May to the middle of September is considered the high season, so yeah. no dogs allowed on the promenade that goes oh, along the beach. So we crossed the street and we stayed on the sidewalk instead. But this was nice because we got to walk through some of the neighborhoods that have these really beautiful, intricate Victorian houses. And this is what Cape May is famous for. This is the, the really special experience that you get in this area, just walking around and seeing how beautifully decorated these houses are is a big part of the draw. And it's part of the reason why Cape May has been called the cutest town in the US. So that's a pretty prestigious title to have, but I think the unique buildings and the horse-drawn carriages and the whole experience of being in this area, it gives it a, a pretty good reason for calling this the cutest town in America. <laughs> we were going toward the main downtown shopping district. There's an area called the Washington Street Mall and just off of Washington Street is a very special place to get ice cream. It's called Peace Red. Pie. Mm. And what you get are two cookies that make an ice cream sandwich. And with the ice cream, there's a layer of pie filling. So I got a strawberry shortcake flavored Peace Pie. <laughs> Redford was pretty interested nice. to sample the ice cream. And Patrick got his favorite cookies yeah, and cream. No, We finished our peace pies and walked past the historic Congress Hall, which is a very well-known fancy hotel in the area. They have a lot of seasonal activities and it was quite busy on this Saturday night. We were going all the way down to the end of this road where you reach the beach and they have a great spot to view the sunset and they also do a flag ceremony every day at sunset. And we were kind of rushing a little bit. We took our time eating our ice cream, so now we were racing to get to the beach as the sun was going down. We got there just in time to catch the beautiful colors of the sunset as the sun went under the horizon. You might not even get a copyright strike for this. Classic. Every Saturday night from May until Labor Day weekend at 7 p.m. they have a flag ceremony and this is a tradition that goes back over 40 years. You see the pavilion in the background, there's a flagpole just in front of it and every Saturday they will have a flag that is from a veteran's casket that the family members bring to them to be flown for the day. At the end of the day, it is taken down in a ceremony and folded and handed back to the family. This has become something that people gather for every Saturday night 
and in the busy part of the season they also do it on Mondays and Wednesdays so something to check out for sure Hi, Hutch. I know. Red. I see you. I see you. I don't have any, any treats on me. We didn't get too close to the pavilion since we had Redford and he's not allowed on the promenade. And when there's people around, he tries to make friends with everybody. So we didn't want to be disruptive. But we watched from a distance. And once we had enjoyed the flag ceremony and the beautiful sunset, we started to make our way back down to the car, all the way down where we parked it. But it was fun to walk through the streets of Cape May and see how much activity there is here in the summer. The trolleys going by, people going to restaurants, and just enjoying the beautiful evening with the ocean breeze. We made our way back to the campground for our last night of camping in Cape May for this summer. <laughs> the pour over coffee is working really well. Yeah. I feel like there's been less coffee grinds getting all over the place. It's, up right now. it's so much easier to clean. Oh yeah, the second time you do it, it doesn't go as fast. But, you know, figuring out the little things every time we go camping, because the French press was such a disaster. Yeah. There'd be like coffee grinds everywhere. I think the next thing I want to do is put a, a spice rack over here so I can have more spices for cooking. And uh, this table has been coming in super handy today. One of the things I don't understand about RVs, they always put the cutting board like over the sink, thinking that that's going to give you like extra counter space is what people always say. Like, oh, it gives you an extra flat surface. But for me, if I'm cooking, I'm usually using the sink at the same time. So there, I'm never going to leave that on there while I'm actually using the kitchen. So that's why this extra table on the side is so clever. That's what I usually use when I'm cooking to like move stuff over. That thing is my favorite. I feel like all scamps should have that side table. And that was done by the previous owner, not us. Yeah, that was not our brilliant idea, but <clears throat> definitely I would say a necessity in the scamp. And these little hammocks, they are very helpful because we went to the farm stand and now we have like tomatoes over on this side and peaches over on that side. We had grapes in that one and it just makes it easy to access all of that stuff and it keeps the table open because one of the things that really irritates me when we're camping is when there's just like a pile of stuff on the table and you can't, you have to like move everything before you want to sit down. So the more storage we have hanging up, the easier it is for us to just like function in such a small space because it is, it gets cluttered in like 2.3 seconds. Then a really fun thing happened that morning. We met our first subscriber in person. Hi guys. Well, I'm starstruck because I'm here <laughs> with look who like scamp and let the new adventures begin. I am a follower and I never thought that I would bump into him at the campground that I'm staying. So like I'm shy and thank you. And if you want to come and join me, because I have a really cute little video of them on my channel here at where are we going? So, Join us. Yeah, we can link that below and uh, you. you can see the little mini scamp. Oh, yeah, it will be cool. <laughs> it's the fun. most beautiful scamp you could ever see. Beautiful. Thanks. You want me to time you? No. <laughs> it's only like the second time we've done it. Ready, go. <laughs> It was so much fun to meet Isaac and talk about all the fun of RVing and all the different rigs that he has had. So make sure that you go over and check out his channel. He has some great videos over there and you can see a quick little tour that I gave him of the interior of our scamp. But this was the morning we had to pack up and head out. So we started putting the gazelle back together. And because we have the G6, this is the largest of the gazelle gazebos. And we really like having that space, but it is 
just a little bit of work to set it up and take it down. They say you can do it in like two minutes, but we were a little slow. It took five and a half minutes and we forgot to take the poles out for the door. Not too bad. I feel like our three-day weekend went really fast. We did get to do a lot of fun things, especially dog-friendly things. And uh, it was super nice to meet Isaac. It was our first time somebody uh, recognized us from YouTube, so it's kind of funny. But it's always nice to meet RV people. They're just super interesting, friendly people. It's one of the great things about being in the RV community. So now, the part of the weekend that we were not looking forward to. The Jersey Shore is notorious for traffic. Basically, if you're a local on Friday evening and Sunday evening, you avoid the expressway and the Garden State Parkway. Specifically, Friday Garden State Parkway going south is going to be ridiculous shore traffic as everyone comes in. And then Sunday, the Parkway North going to the expressway is a mess. But since Cape May is kind of down in the little peninsula, we have no choice but to follow that sort of direction. We're going to see if we can skirt inland a little bit and get away with it. But um, I think a lot of people have figured out, because of GPS, they figured out the workaround if they want to get off the parkway. So Might be taking the scenic byway. <laughs> the very scenic byway, yeah. like all the way around. Luckily, it was a beautiful day for a drive, so we took the scenic route and just enjoyed the scenery of South Jersey on our way home. We have a couple trips coming up, so make sure that you are subscribed. We'll be doing another scamp trip to Havre de Grace, and this time Redford is definitely going with us for Labor Day weekend. And then we have a fall trip to Vermont, a trip to Ireland, a trip to Florida, so lots of travel coming up this year. Thanks so much for being here and going on these adventures with us. We will see you in the next one. Well, you worried about you and me, the injustice, the next president to be. The news and watch here your career. It's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair. To be aware and I'll be there, so don't be scared. Just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again. And no time flies. We have enough to realize this bigger than the both of us.